Hey guys, we're Gamer, and I'm back with another video. And uh, today, or I guess I should say, yesterday was my four-year anniversary on YouTube. Sorry I couldn't make the video yesterday. I did tell you guys I would, but something kind of came up, uh, family stuff. So sorry about that. But uh, today we're doing the video, and uh, yeah, so it's been four years. <sighs> four years. It's been a long time, and just sitting, sitting on this chair, this chair, just. It just shows me how far I've just gone, you know, on YouTube and how just how it's been on YouTube. It's, it's been awesome. It's been absolutely awesome. And you guys know that like every video or every sort of like milestone I get, I tell you guys like, you know, it's amazing making the videos. It's so fun. You know, I'm never going to stop. And I mean, that, that that's what, that's all true. Um, just I just remember just back then I would start with like, oh, my gosh, if you guys if you guys like look back on all my old videos, like there are a lot of things I regret because a lot of them were really bad really bad like there was this one ordering chaos video i made that had like that has right now to this day a hundred thousand views but it was one of the worst mo videos like i've ever made it was so bad yet people you know liked it they clicked on it i guess and it was an interesting video i guess but it, it was it was awful it was awful um <laughs> But you learn from all these stuff. You learn from it. And, you know, back then I would use, like, a Canon camera, like a really shitty Canon camera, and I'd put it on a stand. And, you know, I'd kind of point that to, like, my mom's iPad 1, first generation. So it was, it was ridiculous playing like that. And then I would switch, you know, to my iPhone 3GS, and it was just, oh, my God, just back then it was it was crazy. Um, it was definitely crazy just going into iOS gaming because a lot of people, you know, you would assume, you know, either do, like, only vlogs or, you know, console gaming or pranks or whatever I kind of wanted to be something different so I went into I was gaming with that kind of motivation to get I was gaming you know bigger um, better and boy has it gotten bigger and damn has it gotten better by a lot um, but yeah guys so I asked you guys to send a question so let's go ahead and get right into it so the first question what career would you want when you grow up so I'm planning on getting going to college this summer, August, and um, I'm planning on majoring in computer science. So I can either go two ways. I can go either being a web developer, um, which is a pretty nice career. It can kind of be you know, like a freelance there. Um, and you know, can, you can do that at home and stuff. And then there's one where I can work at Gameloft, hopefully. Um, there is an internships I see on their sites that I could, you know, once I think I'm, I think a junior in college, I have to check. Um, but yeah, there's some internships I might be interested in. And uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how it goes from there. What are your hopes for upcoming MC5 updates and MC6? Okay, so I get this question uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, like, b tell me, you know, what you really think of MC5. I know you think it's bad. <laughs> Which is just, those, those comments are hilarious um, because it's not true. I love MC5, I always have, and my hopes for it. Last update was absolutely crazy. I've never played it more than I have since that update. Um, my hopes for it, just to keep on growing. I'm hoping, you know, to see a lot more updates than, you know, what they did with MC4 and MC3, because MC3, they didn't, they didn't update, I think they only updated like twice, I wanna say. MC4, what was it like two or three times? I, I can't remember. Um, and then MC5 they up they updated already twice um, with some hot fixes and all that for the weapons and such. So I'm just hoping that there's you know at least maybe I want to say like three updates if that you know three major updates and then maybe some minor updates along the way. But if they could do that, that'd be awesome. It changed the game you know as a whole and it it just it'd make it awesome. Um, and as for MC6. I'm not really sure. Um, it's kind of it makes sense that they'd make a new one. It makes sense, but I'm not exactly sure what they do. Um, because I mean, if you think about Modern Combat's like different sort of play styles. Like each game, MC3 was really fast paced. MC4 was a little bit slower paced, I think. But well, it was a little fast, but you get the point. Like it was a little bit slower. Like a little bit running speed was slower. And then MC5 was kind of like a battlefield game, which I love. And um, MC6, I mean, they could go either way. So it'll just depends, you know, what the studio, what studio makes and all that. But uh, I don't know. I have high hopes for it. I think it's going to be a great game uh, when it does come out, which is not going to be for a while. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. How old are you and what is my favorite Game Loft game? So I am 18 years old. And what is my favorite Game Loft game? I don't have a favorite. Honestly, I'm being completely honest. I don't have a favorite, but I do have favorites. Um, the Modern Combat series... 
Love it. Um, Sac- uh, Sacred Odyssey. Freaking love that game so much. It was like a Legend of Zelda type game with the best game loft, I think, soundtrack ever. Um, Nova. Love the Nova Nova series. Um, I, I played, I play like, basically almost all their games. Like, 90%. I played Assassin's Creed. I played Wild Blood. I played um, Tom Clancy. I played um, the Modern Combat, the Nova, the Sacred Odyssey, Order and Chaos. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, what else? I played Asphalt, uh, Blitz Brigade. Just all the games just damn <laughs> you have come so far where do you want your channel uh to get to so when you're starting a channel you know you have to have some reasons for it. it's not um in my opinion it's not just you know you know upload videos and being like oh my gosh i hope no one sees this it's like you upload them so you can get noticed right so you, you're uploading them you want to get bigger you want to get you want to get more known you want to kind of make a difference in the community that's sort of what i want to do i headstrong went into iOS gaming, you know, saying, you know, I want to get big, I want to, you know, get iOS gaming up there, I want to, um, you know, show that Game Off games are freaking awesome, and I hope I've achieved that so far. Um, you know, I see a lot of comments, you know, by you guys saying like, oh, you know, uh, I love this game, thank you, you know, for showing me, and I just came from Call of Duty, or I came from World of Warcraft, or I came from just any type of game, um, and it's, I don't know, it's, it's really awesome just reading those comments. Ben, do you have or have you got any pets? Yes. Okay, this is my puppy. Uh, this is Kisses, for those who don't know. Um, pretty sure you guys know because, or I guess some of you, because I did do like, I think two videos with her. Um, just a little, but uh, yeah, she's, she's a four-year-old yellow lab. And I, I think she's tired right now after, uh, playing outside and whatnot but um and she smells like poo oh my god she smells so bad <laughs> but yeah this is my puppy kisses um i did have a dog before this like i don't know maybe when i was like three or something it was a golden retriever but we had to give him away for some reason um but yeah this is uh kisses how do you make your videos so i'll show you a little bit of how i do it all right guys so i get a lot of questions on if i play with a controller or not and you know how exactly do i play and all that so um this it's a little it might be like a really bad quality but it it's the only way i can really show you guys exactly how i record um or how i play exactly so um i'll go more into depth like how i edit the videos and all that in maybe a separate video but for now it's just kind of like how i play i'll play for a bit not the entire game um but yeah as you guys can see hold on i'm trying to focus it literally it's my laptop that's on the uh, that's on my lap and i'm just pointing it on my ipad so Oh geez, already get knifed. That's incredible. Can you start a mage playthrough on your order in chaos, please? Oh gosh, I get this question a lot um, about doing like a new walkthrough for order in chaos. So if you guys remember um, years ago, um, I did a walkthrough on order in chaos, probably the weirdest thing I've, di I've done because literally that was like 60 parts, I think, 55 actually, 55 parts of just videos that were I I don't think it was necessary really um but I mean if there's like a new class or a new race or something I might do something special I'm not gonna do an entire walkthrough but I'll do something special with it um and I've kind of been lacking on Orient Chaos videos recently but I'm gonna start getting back into it I'm sorry I just I'm a noob at that game so it's hard to kind of you know make you know videos that I think you guys will like but um mm, we'll see um tomorrow I'm playing a video so uh We'll see how that goes. When you first started YouTube, how hard was it to stay dedicated to making videos? So, I mean, when I made my channel, you know, I, I wanted to get big and everything and all that. And, you know, I just kept saying that to myself every day, you know, saying, you know, I, you know, I have this YouTube channel. Let's, you know, let's try it. Let's push forward. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't really hard to stay dedicated, really. I just, you know, after school, I'd come home and I'd make a video. Um, my parents didn't know about it, you know, when I first started. So I would just, you know, hide in my room, you know, with my iPod and being like, hey guys, it's me, Vinny Skimmer. <laughs> and, you know, I just make videos like that. But um, at the time, you know, it was it was awesome. It was it was really cool sharing your experience that way. And now when I look back at the old videos, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Because I look at myself and I'm just like, dang, I was really like a little kid. And that was only like four years ago. So that was a lot can change in four years. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not. Not at this current time. But um, you never know. Stuff could happen. Stuff could happen. 
Why are you so beast and are you ever going to bring other people to play with you? Uh, not sure about the beast part. Um, are you going to try to bring other people to play with you? So, I've, I've all the time, like anytime I played at Monocrimmon 3 and Monocrimmon 4, oh, I've always hosted custom matches to play with you guys. MC5 does not have that currently, but um, it's on the priority list, the developers. So, once they release custom matches, I'll live stream, I'll, you know, have some custom matches, I'll tweet it out and all that. So, if you guys just follow me on Twitter, you know, I'll post those up. And uh, mostly I'll stream them. Mostly I'll live stream, and I'll let you guys know about it here on the channel and on Twitch or er, and on Twitter. Um, and uh, yeah, probably do some stuff that way. Um, that is really the best way I could do because I get a lot of questions about like you know like why don't you add, why don't you add me and all that stuff. I have so many requests, guys. So many. I want to say over like 300. I haven't checked, but it's a lot. So I don't want to add every single one because then it's gonna be impossible to find like people like like to play with like I just have to look for like oh I want to invite this guy but I can't find him and all that so custom matches are really the best way when do you think you will ever quit YouTube I don't think I'll ever quit YouTube anytime soon anytime soon um, I'm planning on doing this for a while to be honest it's kind of it's kind of scary when you look at it because um, like whatever youtubers you're watching now they're not gonna do it forever you know that so just thinking about that I mean I don't know, like, will I be doing this when I'm in my 40s? I don't know. You're, you know, I think um, I read somewhere, I think I read somewhere, every 10 years of your life that passes, your opinions change, your kind of just personality changes. So, I don't know. Um, you know, maybe, you know, today I'll love video games, today I'll love iOS, and then maybe like 40 years from now or some, no, not even like 20 years or something, I may not like it or may not find it appealing. I don't know. It, it, it's all just a matter of waiting, so we'll see what happens. But for now, not anytime soon. Was it hard for you to start your channel and grow it? Uh, was it slow at the beginning? And did you take any college classes to learn more about YouTube, edit videos, Photoshop, etc.? Um, it, it wasn't. Ex it's not so much that it's hard to start the channel. Well, the hardest part about starting the channel is patience. You're gonna have to have that temperament and that patience to really have a YouTube channel because. I'm gonna tell you the first year probably got 100 or 200 subs. It was extremely slow, extremely. It's just because when you upload, just think about it. If you upload a video, you're one out of one bazillion or whatever videos on the internet and it's like the smallest chance of people finding that video because you're new. So once you start uploading videos now more and more and more and more and like right now I don't even know how many videos I have but let's just say I have like a thousand. Let's just say if I have a thousand videos out there that gives a wider range for people to search for what they want, like, you know, they type in iOS gaming, they're probably going to find me. Um, so that's just how that works. So yes, it was extremely slow in the beginning, but it picks up like the last month was where it really started picking up. If you guys go to social blade and you type in, um, my uh, YouTube name, it's gamer, you'll see that since March 19, I've been getting like a ton of views and a ton of subs just lately. It's just, one of those things YouTubers have where it's really slow in the beginning, but then there's like this one jump that just boom, like skyrockets. So you never know um, when that happens, but uh, you know, just keep doing it. You know, you'll get get motivated and uh, you will grow, trust me. Um, uh, did you take any college classes? So right now I'm taking college classes um, in high school, like they have college classes in high school for me. So I'm doing that, but it's kind of funny because I go in the class and everything they teach, I know. Like, it's hilarious. Like, I'm just like, like, I'm sitting in class, the teacher teaches me something. I'm like, I kind of know that already, but okay. It's like all that stuff. Um, but I mean, I, I did take like, like coding classes and stuff, and that'll probably help me in the future. But as for YouTube and stuff, okay, actually, I lied. I lied. I did learn one thing. I learned how to make the, um, some of my thumbnails. I learned that in a Photoshop class I took. I lied, okay. That was one thing, but that's it. Everything else I kind of knew. When did you play your first first person shooter and what was the name? So, if I remember correctly, um, it was on the GameCube. And it was called 007 Agent Under Fire. Uh, classic game. So, so fun. <laughs> After that, it was Nightfire. It was 007 Nightfire. Those games were so fun, man. Like. Damn, they were so fun. Um, after that, I want to say it was like, I think Unreal Tournament. And then after that, um, it was Call of Duty. 
I think. Cod Four I started with. Yeah, I think so. So did that, that. Yeah, that was. It's a little weird, but yeah, I started on GameCube, then I moved to like PlayStation. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sending in your questions. I really uh, love seeing these questions, and I, I try to answer as many comments as I can. I want to say I do a great job at it. I answer about like I want to say like. 85% of the comments I try to answer all of them some of them are a little um, either a little kind of crazy like like they're too big to answer <laughs> or um, they're ones that I cannot reply to like there's no reply button because I think you have to be connected to Google Plus for me to reply to you on the channel it's weird Google's weird so um, once you do that then I'll be able to reply but some yeah some don't have a reply button so I can't do that but um, yeah, I try to answer everyone. It's it's been fun, guys. It's four years have been just we're done with four years, and I uh, hope we can do four more years. So, uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.